Hopefully this will stay up here. Welcome back to Land a House. In this video, I'm going to be making a French cleat storage unit for my circular saw. It'll be nice to have this off the ground. So let's get started on this build. I found this piece of three quarter inch scrap plywood and let's see what it is here. Looks like five and a half inch. And I think that's going to be perfect for my circular saw to fit onto because it is just under five and a half inches. So the things I need to do here are route out a small channel so that the blade and blade guard can rest in. And that's going to be the main holding point for this. I'm also going to just toss a little piece of this ripped down two by four right here on this end strip. And that is going to be so that if I've got a battery in here and this thing is really heavy, that it will stop right there on that block. So just in case it wants to one day fall down. And then I've got uh, to make an angled piece because I want this to be at a 45. So let's first make these cuts and then we'll move on to the next step. So first of all, I want to place my two by four here and make a mark across the back side. And that's going to be the end placement for this board. Next, I need to figure out where this needs to be. So if I've got the block back here on the two by four, it's going to be resting right there. So then it's going to push that pretty much to the edge up top. So I think where it's resting right now is where I can make that judgment. So let's see, it needs to be there to right there. I made a couple marks here to show where I'd like this to be. And now I'm gonna use my combination square here to just trace out a line. And then I'm gonna move up and trace out the other side. And that way I can use my router to cut out that hole. I have the groove cut in here for the blade now, but I was thinking, I'm not really sure a block back here is ideal because what if the battery's not on there? Then there's nothing holding it in there besides the blade. So I'm thinking if I take just a scrap of three quarter inch um, plywood here, then I can just butt it up against the back. And that way, I mean, it's definitely gonna stay no problem on that 45. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So all I need is a piece that is, let's see here, two and a half inches. Okay, I have this little block where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some wood glue on here. I'm also going to do a little pre-drill here. Huh. Apparently you have to have batteries in your drill before it'll work. And then I'm just going to use a couple of these little uh, one and a quarter inch screws. Very nice. Okay, let's test this thing out a little bit. So if it were hanging on the wall at roughly a 45 here, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna see if the battery is out of here. Is it gonna be as secure? Yeah, it's even better without the battery, so it should be fine. And if it's not fine, I might just put like a little clip or something over here to make sure it never comes falling out. I mean, that's almost 90, that's not bad. So anyway, we'll get it on the wall and try it out here in a bit. Now, backing up to my original scrap piece that I cut this piece out of, and I want to mark out, I think we said this was five and a half inches. Yeah, five and a half. So 
I'm going to mark five and a half down here. And then I'm going to cut this at a diagonal so that I have two equal triangles in here. And then I'm going to angle back to zero degrees for the second cut. And now for the cleat, it also needs to be five and a half inches. Okay, it's assembly time. What I want to do is take my triangular pieces and put them to this side of my cleat, which means I need to have a couple of pre-drill holes here on this side. Then I'm gonna use some more of this Type Bond 2 wood glue here. Make sure that is applied well. Then I need to place the triangular piece here on this edge. And I need to carefully get uh, screws in the back side of this. Okay, something to that effect. <laughs> Let me get the other one real quick. Well, I didn't pre-drill right here and I should have, but with that wood glue, I think it's gonna be quite strong. So now it's time to get this piece attached to the front of these triangular pieces here. So once again, it's time for the wood glue. Now, I think I better pre-drill a couple in here first. So maybe towards the middle. You know, I think I'm gonna pre-drill that again to get the other side done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just busted off my drill bit. <laughs> well, let's get this one over here in. Let me go find another drill bit. All right, the circular saw holder is now done. I think it turned out quite nice. Has the cleat on the back side, little triangles to make that sharp 90 to support on the wall, and a stop block down here. So let's give it a try. Seems to fit on there nice and snug. Hopefully this will stay up here. Seems pretty good. Might be worth having a little side piece on it to kind of uh, keep the top from going anywhere, but I mean, I doubt, I doubt it's gonna go anywhere. Let's see what it does if I leave a battery on here. So it's a little more tippy, but it's not going anywhere. I mean, I have to really hit that thing hard to push it off. So I am really pleased with that. I think it's done. I went ahead and trimmed off the tail that I had down here that was originally going to hold that 2x4 and I'm glad that I changed the design. I am really enjoying the French cleat system already and I only have two shelves built. What I like about it is if I put this here but it's covering my outlet down here. I can just move it up here and uh, there you go, problem solved. Um, now when I get shelves for all of my tools or most of my tools, I'll really start arranging things so that uh, they're in a place that I like them. But for now, at least I don't have to look for this saw anymore because I know it's right here. I hope you've enjoyed this video on building a circular saw French cleat storage unit. If you have, hit that thumbs up, and please share this video with your Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and every place that you share videos. It helps out the channel tremendously. Thank you for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Landa House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.